to be reviewing this month's selection, which is Zayt Sumza's The Madonna of Excelsior. So, firstly, guys, are you ready to be reviewing this book? <laughs> Did you guys finish reading the book? We have read the book. Okay, have read it. Read the book. Okay. Look, finished. Did you read the book? <laughs> about the lessons that maybe each and every one of us have learned and obviously most importantly whether you recommend the book to someone else. So let's talk let's start by talking about the theme. What is the one theme that you guys have picked up from from the book? Kaya is here. Oh my god. <laughs> Hi. You can come in Kaya. No, come in. Grab a seat, grab a seat. Finally. We thought you were not coming. Oh, oh, I just never missed this. Now we know a little bit more about Kaya. I really want to share the story about, about how I got to start interacting with him. All right. So this is what happened. So I, I, I actually sent him a message on Facebook, right? A private message. Mm. So I said to him, hi, Kaya. Um, so I'm part of a book club and I really would like to, to, to hear some of your suggestions on, in terms of what are the top five books that you, that you read, which you love, books that have really influenced your way of thinking and writing. So maybe we could you know, grab a couple of books that incorporated in our you know, book club reviews that we're having next year. So, um, so I waited a while, about a month or so, and, but finally he did respond and he shared on the top five books that he recommends that we should read and one of the books that he recommended dun, 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 dun. Zayk Sumdas, The Madonna of Excelsior. So okay. the reason why we are reviewing this book is because of this amazing man. Mm, the one you've been uh, stalking. <laughs> the one I've been stalking. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so, so he's now he's here. So now he's here. Return on investment. Yes. Okay. So I'm very excited. Okay. So I'm very excited and I'm very happy guys because I mean, yeah, no, we all know Kai is very smart. You should read his writings. Yeah. Smart. Like up the higher level stuff, and so it would not. But honestly, so it would really be, be great for us to to learn a thing or two about what he took out of the book, mm -hmm. all right? And so yeah, I'm very excited to start. Are you ready to start the review though? Let's. Yeah. Are you ready? Let's. Yeah. Kaya, are you ready? Yes, of course. Okay, mm -hmm. awesome. So <laughs> let's talk about. Let's start off by talking about the theme of of the book. What is the one theme that? that jumped out for you naturally, either in the beginning, in the middle, or at the end? What's the one thing that you picked up in terms of, of, of the theme? I think for me, what really um, made the book quite, you know, memorable, because I read it initially quite a while ago, was basically how he sort of draws the parallels between the bigger political picture. So you've got this particular act that says things should be done in a particular way. But the thing is that whatever policies and whatever procedures you put in place, they must translate into something tangible for human beings. And then what he did was that he simply said, okay, in the context of this political climate, with this political um, rules and procedures, what does it mean for individuals on a, on a human level? Mm -hmm. And it really does explore the intersection between the individual and the state. Yeah. So whatever the state comes up with, how does it then infiltrate into the individual spaces? Yeah. As well? So for me, that's what quite made, made it quite interesting. And I think also what Zakes does very well is that he manages to sort of translate something that's very abstract into something tangible that you mm. can follow. Because I think a lot of us, when you then find whichever character you identify with in the book, then you can see these issues from their prism, as it were. So then you undertake that journey with them and it creates a, a much more closer and more intimate understanding of what something might have just simply called an act. So when you write an act, a lot of people, even today, when you're saying there's a policy or something like that, they don't know what it means for them individually. So the storytelling then serves to facilitate that interaction between something abstract and something personal. And then that's really what made the story stand out.